pretty good rest. So let's proceed to the law of cosine. The law of cosine states that for any triangle, the square of any side of a triangle equals the sum of their squares of the other two sides minus twice the product of the other sides times the cosine of their included angle. For the purpose of this discussion, let us again use triangle ABC. The equation for the law of cosine are any one of this, depending, of course, on the side you are solving. There is also a derivative of this equation if you are looking for the angle. Let us apply this to a problem. Solve the triangle with the following given. Let's start solving side C. To solve side C, we will use the law of cosine. Now, let's place the values and start solving it. Don't forget to get the square root as your final answer. Now let's solve angle A. To solve angle A, we can use the law of sine or the law of cosine. Since you already have an idea of solving using the law of sine, we will use the law of cosine to solve this. To get angle A, we have to use this equation. Let's proceed solving it. Now that we have angle A and angle C, let us solve for angle B by using the simple equation. So, this is how you do it using the law of cosine. How about if the given is three sides? You will use the following equation on any of the two angles you wish to solve. However, in solving the third angle, you don't have to use the law of cosine. Simply subtract the sum of the two angles to 180 degrees. Now how to know which law to use on a given triangle? Simply determine if the given can be solved in the law of cosine. There are only two possible conditions determining whether to use the law of cosine. If you're given an angle with two adjacent sides or you're given three sides, you will use the law of cosine. Thus, if these are not the ones given, then use the law of sine. What if you were given this type of problem? Rest up a while as we go on to the law of tangents. Though the law of tangent is not widely used and pretty much unimportant, there is a rare chance that we have to use the law of tangent in order to solve the problem. The law of tangent is about the relationship between the lengths of the three sides of a triangle and the tangent of the angles. Here's the equation. I know that it looks complicated, but it's really not that hard once you have your calculator on hand. Let's do this example. You're given angle C, side A, and side B. You can use the law of cosine for this, but let's use the law of tangent for this example. First, we have to determine A plus B. In order to get the value, you will use this formula. Next step is finding A minus B. To get it, use the law of tangent. We will now use this equation. Deriving it, we will acquire this equation. Now let's find A minus B.
Now we have A minus B. We will now get the value of angle A. To find the value, simply arrange A plus B and A minus B this way and add the value. After adding the values, you will get 2A and the sum of the two values. Divide the answer by 2 and you will get angle A. To get the value of angle B, simply subtract angle A from A plus B. Moving on, let's solve for side C. To get the value of side C, simply do the law of sine with the equation below. This ends our tutorial for the law of tangent. Next up is how to get the area of triangles. So, rest up and fire up the next video if you're ready to take off the area.